Let's get started. We're going to make an incision at the umbilicus and then insert a trocar. We'll place our camera down the trocar so that we can see it as it goes into the abdomen. Once we're inside, we inflate the abdomen with carbon dioxide and then numb the skin so we can make our other three incisions. Insert another trocar through the abdominal wall, a third, and our fourth and final trocar. These trocars allow us access into the abdomen so that we can place our instruments in and out of the abdomen to do the surgery. We grasp our gallbladder and retract it upward and you can start to see some of those stones floating around inside the gallbladder. We're going to just gently tease away this fat here that's near the cystic duct. The cystic duct is the duct that connects the gallbladder to the main common bile duct. And we just gently tease away that fat until we can see the cystic duct starting to come into view. This is the most important part of the procedure. We want to be very careful and make sure that we clearly identify that cystic duct going into the gallbladder so that we're not confusing it for some other structure. Behind the cystic duct, we're going to start looking for our cystic artery, which supplies blood to the gallbladder. And you can see this pulsatile vessel coming into view now. That is the cystic artery. Now that we have clearly identified the cystic artery and the cystic duct going to the gallbladder, we'll start clipping these structures so that we can divide them. We always like to clip first and then divide. We don't want to create any bleeding or bile leaking by cutting first and then clipping second. Now that they're clipped, we'll go ahead and divide the cystic duct and then the cystic artery. Now we're going to use an electric cautery device to dissect the gallbladder off of the liver. You can see this device does create some smoke, but it's nice because it will cauterize any bleeding points as we move along the gallbladder. And we just march our way all the way up the gallbladder, freeing it more and more off the liver. And there we have it. Now that the gallbladder has been detached from the liver, we place it in this bag so that we can remove it from the body. But before we do, we'll take one more look under the liver just to make sure that there's nothing bleeding and making sure our clips are in good position. We can see that our cystic duct is adequately clipped. There's nothing leaking from it. And you can see the cystic artery is also very well clipped and there's no bleeding coming from there and there's also no bleeding from the liver. So now we're ready to take out the gallbladder. We're just going to grab this string that's attached to our bag and pull the gallbladder out through this upper incision here. And there it is. We're just going to cut this gallbladder open so we can see what these stones look like inside of it. You can see some golden looking stones there. And that stone is about one centimeter or just shy of half an inch there. 